Good morning and happy solar return. And if it's your birthday, a very special happy solar return. So let's look at where you are today. We saw that in this past week, the reading has shown how we're starting to look at some things that shaped our lives, uh, especially the negative things that shaped our lives, and how we can use them to as something to inspect and understand how we can improve ourselves and ask ourselves how we evolved through those negative experiences and sort of be our own psychologist, you know, do our own psychological evaluation and deal with stuff on a healthier level in the future. The reason I say that is because look at this. Here's your definition. This is you and me looking in a forward path at a potential problem that could happen in the future. Okay, well, it's inevitable. We're all going to have some kind of problem at some point. That's what life is. Life is full of challenges. Problems are challenges. So the challenge is either to solve them or deal with things that are not solvable. So there we go. Well, how can we fix this? Well, okay, this is very, very close to yesterday because what we see is we're supposed to look to our happiness within ourselves, everything that makes us feel whole and and healthy and, and makes our heart just so happy. So this is a spiritual thing. Okay, now, what is this? This is also a physical thing that goes right along with it You might have a physical issue that is causing you a lot of challenges right now. (laughs) Okay, gosh, this is is just about a a reading for me. So there's some sort of health issue that's going along. You're a healthy, healthy, happy, spiritual person. But when it comes to your physical strength, it might be that you have some issue that cannot be fixed easily. You know, you can't just eat or not eat something and fix it. There's something that's just sort of beleaguering you, belaboring you and your psyche and your heart, and you're dealing with it every single day. That would be something like, you know, none of us can control what, I mean, to an extent, we cannot control what cancer cells do in our bodies because we all have them and it's just at at a whim, it seems sometimes that they decide to pop up. Or maybe it's lupus, another autoimmune issue, or an arrhythmia that happened ever since birth, you've had this autoimmune issue. So, wow, that's a tough thing because you can not change the fact that as our bodies age, these challenges become more and more profound and they become bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you cannot deal with it anymore. We Nobody lives forever. Thank goodness. <laughs> Especially in this old body. I wouldn't want to live in this um, gradually decaying body. So here we go. Let's look at it. This is an issue. This is probably the challenge of face a physical challenge that you're facing based on this you're a very happy healthy spiritual person and you've got all the means within yourself to deal with this stuff but you're going to have to find a way to make happiness for yourself this is especially difficult to be positive when you have a life-threatening issue come up okay so it's It's not even saying to be positive when you first get the news about this life-threatening issue or this this health-degrading issue that's popped up. It's a natural reaction to be disappointed and depressed and sad about getting that news. Then after you get that news, you have to decide, okay, here it is. Now I'm going to solve my issues the best that I can every single day and find the joy again. Okay. Because if you don't do that, you'll really sink way down into depression. And I just could not bear that for you. So, oh, this is going to make me cry. (laughs) Because I know somebody right now who deals with an issue every single day. 
and yet she finds a way to try to uplift others and say, look, I'm in this fight and I'm going to fight with you. Let's all hang in together. OK. And, you know, for me, I, I say there's a song, you got to fight for your right to party. <laughs> That's about the only line I would quote from that song. But, yeah, every single day we got to fight for our right to party, especially as you get older. So today it's all about finding the jewel that lies within and one source of deep joy and happiness in your life is found by looking at all the good connections you've made in your life and reconnecting with those good ones that you might have lost just due to time. You know, time and tide will wait for no man, right? And as we go through life, we get disconnected from people for various reasons, and it's not out of anything that anybody did it's just life and there's something a talent within you as well and any talent that you have you can use to find joy in life and even if it's the tiniest little thing that you create every day even if that tiny thing is a smile on someone else's face you can get joy in that but of course you've got to deal with your issues first okay you have to deal with it, and then you're able to move on and be strong. So, your best defense is a positive attitude and working on yourself every single day. That's a capital S for self every single day to build the strongest spiritual you as possible. So, focus on your talents in life and focus on being a positive influence on this planet. And that's going to help you deal with the inevitable, what is to come. Tell you what, if this is your birthday, this is a very profound reading. You know, Albert Einstein died on his birthday, I think. I think it was him. I might be wrong, but I really think it was Albert Einstein that he passed away on his birthday. And they do say that on the day of your birth, you're as close to death as ever. So... This day is huge. So I wish you the very best solar return, especially since it calls for you to embrace and celebrate the strong core that you have within yourself. Every blessing. Happy solar return. <laughs>